this is Roger, Officer Rodriguez with Internal Affairs. Yes, ma'am. Okay, may I have your badge number? 11498. Okay, um, I am having a problem. Um, police have given me a fraud in police headquarters. It would not give me access to like, um, at the time it was like 40 something reports that I've made and threatened to take me to jail for reporting identity theft. And when I was in jail on false charges, um, staff tried to cover for an inmate that assaulted me. And the behavior, the inmate would cover for, because I would talk to other inmates about my experience. And the inmate would bully me and interrupt my conversation regarding my false arrest. And it was curious, while I was in jail on a criminal trespass, why they uh, the I was put in a cell with people that were in jail for murder and assaults, um, violent crimes. So if I was in jail with criminal trespass, why was I put in jail with inmates with the, that kind of that that you know um, my safety was in jeopardy by being placed in a cell with inmates like that, and I was in jail only for criminal trespass. Right, Thus, I had the assault. This is internal affairs. This is internal affairs. So thus yeah, I had the name? assault. It's Kiana, K E Y A N A. It's hard when people interrupt evidence to everywhere I call, covering for the crimes, including internal affairs. So what was your question again? Yeah, this disregarding, um, that would be like a form of emotional abuse that no one would believe that a party would experience that from call to call to disregard a person's trauma and experiences, especially assault and this scale of criminal activity from the government to disregard it over and over again. I can understand why a stalker would be uh, involved in activity like that. Not sure why the government would be a part of it. But to repeat myself, when I was in jail on the false charges, an inmate assaulted me and jail staff was covering for it and not quite sure why internal affairs would threaten to take me to jail for identity theft and cover for 70 something reports ranging from me being trapped on buses, a dark bus driver being enlisted for harassment and abuse locking me on a train while I'm getting threatened on camera footage, uh, being arrested at a domestic violence what support group and denied about? my right to go to court. Are you covering for it, ma'am? No, ma'am. What was your question again? Are you trying to get a complaint on the jail? Well, this is internal affairs. Um, I'm trying to figure out why you guys are covering for police not uh, no investigation for like 70 something reports and threatening to take me to jail. Police officers threatening to take me to jail for reporting identity theft. And I was told to get the status of when I was assaulted in jail by uh, from internal affairs. Oh, got it, got it. Let me transfer you to a detective, okay? Give me one second. Sure. Hello, Detective Lewis. Um, may I have your badge number? Can you eight two eight six? Can you hold one moment? I'm sorry, I didn't get your badge number. My badge number is eight two eight six. Okay, and you answer the phone and want me to hold? Yes, I need you to hold on one moment, please. Okay. One moment. Okay. So it's fruitless, you know, and I do. I just can uh, hope and pray that someone watching this gets this in the right, hand, right hands. Because all I keep doing is talking to people. It's networked. And I just consistently keep talking to people that cover for it. All they do, since the government is able to abuse power, they enforce it by forcing me enlisting parties that for the cover-up that will assist me. Anywhere around integrity, I'm not allowed to be anywhere near integrity. It's not going to happen. They call, they interrupt, and make sure that this chaos continues to go on. To the degree to where they um, commit crimes in jail and have inmates mistreat me and violate me, even when I talk about my experiences. I hear you, ma'am, in the background. This is odd enough. games yes I'm here okay. yes um I have been having problems with multiple officers I'm targeted 
And I tried to explain that to Internal Affairs and they removed me out of corruption to tamper with evidence and prevent that report. I feel that um, I had I was assaulted in jail and the inmate would uh, interrupt conversations that I had with other inmates to prevent me from discussing my experience and was rude, was rude and bullied me when I discussed my experience. And that happened with multiple different inmates on multiple different foster arrests. So it was like the inmates were controlled. But anyway, to make a long story short, you have to see it to believe it. This inmate assaulted me. And I tried to put in the report that this inmate would interrupt me when I talked to other inmates about my experience and bully me and mistreat me when I talked about it. The staff bullied me and controlled me and prevented me from putting that in the report when I got assaulted. But anyway, so I tried to get the status of this assault. And it was odd because the staff was trying to punish me and make it said that I started it. And other inmates got involved and said, no, she didn't do anything. If had they not got involved, then they would have accused me of the situation, blamed me for it. But other inmates got involved. It was curious that I was put in a cell with people with assaults and uh, violent crimes, including murder. And I was only in jail on a criminal trespass. Why would they put me in a cell to jeopardize my safety with inmates with that uh, kind of uh, committing crimes to that degree when I was only in jail for a criminal trespass? And this would happen routinely on multiple different foster arrests, jeopardizing my safety. Okay, the, the officers. It may have something to do with them so okay, communicating to the jail staff that I was in there on special. I, it's hard when multiple people try to tamper with evidence. Yes, it may have something to do, ma'am, with internal affairs, with them communicating that I was in there for something called special. Special. Okay. Maybe that's why this all happened because of me being in jail for the special. Maybe that's why they can't find my records because it's a special. Do you know what special means? No, I don't, ma'am. Okay, well, when it's special, that means that you get assaulted and at 70-something reports don't get investigated and you're targeted. That's what I assume special no, means. No, ma'am. Special yeah, means that you can get there. assaulted by inmates and multiple parties cover for it and lie and slander and commit felonies and federal crimes and get away with it routinely. That's what special means to my knowledge. Okay, well, we don't have any such terminology. Oh, no, well, look at the request, the records request that they they can't give me records. It definitely says special on that. If anyone would investigate the multiple reports, this is internal affairs. You can clear this man saying that this is a special and special meant that I was violated. Multiple parties, the jail staff would bully me and do all kinds of things that people would not believe. So I won't even discuss it. Oh no, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to give you evidence that I'm targeted and it's really difficult where everywhere I call they're covering for the crimes and their only um their only uh, objective is to see if someone will actually believe that they're authentically trying to help me in that call when they're really not. No ma'am, we can't help you with your if you believe that you're being targeted at the jail. You'd have to contact I'm targeted in general. I'm targeted in general. That's why it, it's really difficult because so many parties misunderstand what I'm saying and I try to write it and they tamper with evidence and don't want me writing it so they can lie and slander and reports and consistently well, get away with it. You come to internal affairs division to write whatever you see fit to write. Well, here's the thing. I They told me to call you to figure out what happened when this inmate assaulted me. The status of that? No, ma'am. We don't do that here at IED. We don't, we don't investigate people being assaulted at jail. We okay, I didn't think that they did. Well, can you investigate why the police won't investigate 70-something reports? I, I got that. It's hard, ma'am, again, because multiple parties I talk to tamper with evidence and cover for crimes. Okay. Can you investigate why 70-something reports haven't been investigated, ranging from guns, assaults, ran off road? I don't know if you're gaslighting me, ma'am. If all this is going on, I don't know why you would be abusive and rude. This okay. is like emotional abuse that no one would believe. Okay, ma'am, what is your name? Let's start there. It's Kiana, K-E-Y-A-N-A. K-E-Y-A-N-A. That's correct. Clark, C-L-A-R-K. C-L-A-R-K. Yes, right. Ma'am. Okay. What is your date of birth? It is. But what is your purpose in calling the Internal Affairs Division today? How can we help you? 
Okay, so when I make these calls, it's emotional abuse because I'm disregarded and people are only committing crimes and tampering with evidence, which is a felony, and deny someone law enforcement. Is that a crime, ma'am? Which part, ma'am? Um, is denying someone law enforcement a crime? Denying you law enforcement? Yes, out of corruption. Uh, denying a citizen their right to be protected in law enforcement. Is that a crime? Um, you, are your internal affairs and you're not quite sure if police deny let's say, a citizen law enforcement out of corruption? Can we, you, I can be placed on hold. I like that education. I like to know if denying a citizen law enforcement is criminal. Ma'am, that's not even a question. Deny, if, is denying a citizen law enforcement criminal? I don't even know what that means. Okay, if out of corruption, let me repeat it because I do need this answer and I don't know. I don't know why you would cover up for crimes, ma'am. I thought the camper with evidence was a felony. If you're going to talk, then you have to allow me to talk. That's how that's how communication works. I asked you a question and you're deflecting. No, I'm going to answer you, but you're going to answer some of my questions. You called me. You called my I don't directly. think that your behavior is appropriate to send me something reports is not uh, haven't been investigated and that's police gave fine. me fraud. That's fine, ma'am. So, ma'am. This is the Internal Affairs Division. We investigate complaints against city Dallas city employees and police officers. So far, what you've told me has nothing to do with the Dallas Police Department in general. So how can I help you? As I would like to know if police... Now, please let me finish my question. How can I help you with regard to... I'm answering it and you're... You have, if you're going to continue to interrupt, ma'am, I'm going to disengage from this call. I can't help you if you keep over-talking me. Schemes. Do you have a complaint against a Dallas city employee or police officer, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. I don't know why you would cover for it along with multiple other parties because I thought that was a felony. I've re oh. repeated that over and over again and your behavior was inappropriate from my experience, ma'am. I don't know why multiple parties keep covering from rain. Your customer service is not a... Um, not okay knowing that i've been trapped on trains ran off the road i don't know why so many officers control me and then lie and slander me and say that i'm interrupting them when they sabotage and deflect and keep me from education the whole overall statement that you tried to deflect and not answer if is, is depriving a citizen of law enforcement out of corruption criminal no no, ma'am. It no, is, ma'am. And I don't understand why okay. you could be with internal well, affairs and not know that. You don't have no I police said, officer I has the right. Well, fi knowledge. find out, ma'am, because your internal affairs. Ma'am, ma'am, how did you get my number? Ma'am, that these are federal crimes that you guys are committing that you keep getting away with. They're not depriving someone of law enforcement when they've been ran off the road, assaulted, and all this cover up. These are ma massive federal crimes. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And your department can be investigated if someone was to do a proper investigation. Giving someone fraud is inexcusable. Threatening someone's arrest for reporting identity theft to cover for financial abuse. Denying someone investigation on missing missing food stamps, missing child support when they were in a crisis. Yes, ma'am. We don't have anything to do with that. You do because you denied investigation for it. I don't know why multiple parties and internal affairs would commit crimes. That's a felony a felony that's being committed right now on this phone call. I'm informing you of inappropriate behavior from multiple officers and you're covering for it. That is a felony. There are multiple federal crimes that have happened in your police department and you're covering for it, which is a crime. Internal Affairs has no right to cover for me being targeted and force me to leave when their officers are so corrupt that they did uh, threaten to take me to jail for simply reporting identity theft. If my abuse is so massive that I had almost $2,000 in my bank account, then my bank would not give me out of corruption who and police did not investigation for that. Ma'am, ma who threatened Ms. Clark? Who threatened to put you in jail? I'm not quite sure it was on camera footage. Multiple, like six police, armed police came to me. They told me to go get the paperwork that they couldn't investigate. They played games multiple times with me reporting the identity theft. Then I went to go get the paperwork. My bank was acting weird. And when I threatened them with like police and a lawsuit, then they gave me the paperwork. 
When I got back to the police department, they were amazed that I got the paperwork. But I did have the paperwork, so then after that, they threatened to take me to jail for reporting it. They, what the suspicious thing is, I had my ATM card in my purse. Someone had went and withdrew money from a casino that I was supposed to be going with, uh, going to with a family member, but I couldn't because all the money was missing out of my account. I was so desperate to get out the house and do something in this chaos. Something happened to my vehicle. Someone did something to my vehicle. And then another time, um, I got another vehicle and I had a false arrest and that was taken. So I went up to uh, Louisiana to the man that I think is doing all this chaos that multiple parties keep covering for after my vehicle was taken out of corruption. So I went up there to meet with him to see why all this chaos was going on after I ended the online relationship. If somehow that he, I think that maybe it has something to do with these mysterious calls I make. I have no clue what he does for a living, but I do know a lot of parties don't think, know that people can simulate calls that's unknown. That is a, a major way that you can could do identity theft and commit crimes. But I'm not quite sure why the police department would cover for it. So you can have someone um, relentlessly calling over and over again all over the United States to try to get help, but the calls are controlled and simulated like they're calling parties that they're really not. And since people aren't aware of that, you, that could easily blend into mental illness. People don't know readily know about this chaos occurring. So all you have to do is just entice wait at at and and, with the, and give that party a criminal trespass and make sure the providers never investigate this party begging for her, her life years. And every party she calls on her phone covers for it. People don't know that exists. The unfortunate part about that, that's how their identities get stolen. But I'm not quite sure why the government is enforcing this abuse and the cover-up for such crimes. You there? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Yeah, so I think maybe a red flag is why they didn't want me reporting the identity theft, how someone withdrew funds from my account uh, at the casino I was supposed to be going to with my cousin and why uh, police threatened to take my um, take me to jail for reporting that. Because that's unusual. How did they get my pen? To go to an ATM. And what was it to the police, me reporting it, and then the individual eventually admitted to it under a fake page to doing it. Because that's, that's really ironic to go to the casino that I was supposed to be going to and withdraw funds through ATM for a card that was in my purse. But some kind of way, my bank cover for it. Then after they got away with that, just completely denied me funds until I started only communicating with them in writing then they got caught in the corruption and then forced me to close my account, which I didn't want to do because I had been banking there over 15 years. So they threw my money at me in my face and forced me to close my account and told me to leave. Because they got caught in corruption trying to keep me from funds that was in my account. I called the police on them, but they did not do an investigation. I think they were behind why the bank wouldn't give me my funds. So if I have corrupt law enforcement going behind me, um, interrupting calls, controlling my phone, sabotaging um, my help by counterfeiting calls that I make, how in the world am I supposed to progress? Especially when most of the population don't even know this can be done. I may be, ma'am, if you investigated the 70 something reports, we can get a connection. Why am I being denied investigation for 70 something reports? Why is the police department denying me the right to my records, which is a crime? Did you do an open records request? I did, and they gave me fraud at first. I want to do a, um, I want to pr um, press charges on that individual that gave me fraud. I don't know exactly who it was. It was on the camera footage. I did try to report it to, um, I tried to report it to someone and he covered for it and said that he couldn't do a report. I do have it recorded. Multiple reports were missing. And I reported it to an investigator. He covered for it. I do have video footage of that happening. Oh, okay. All right. If you turn all that information in and have to the recording for your, to go along with your complaint. 
Well, here's the thing. It's a problem when internal affairs covers for it. I'm not really getting anything resolved because they're covering for the crimes. So we would need to get the corrupt people out of the way. But I do want to focus on why 70 something reports aren't getting investigated. I mean, that's a lot of evidence if you investigate the camera footage on why I got ran off roads and why Emma was threatening Jill and police and staff for covering for it. Ma'am, I can't speak to that, but I... Oh, well, you can, they, you, you have a responsibility because this is internal affairs. I think that's where we're having an issue because that is your responsibility to investigate and figure out why these things are going on. Why they were waiting at AT&T, police, enforcing well, my phone issues. That's... And, and tell you how to file your complaint because I you can't investigate it until you file... I've file filed multiple and they keep covering for it, ma'am. That's where the disconnect is. Else where there's a disconnect ma'am there's a disconnect multiple parties i speak with are committing crimes so i don't know how to get if someone's committing a crime then you you talk you call my one point yeah so this is a part this is the issue ma'am because i think that you're just trying to convince other people that you're actually trying to help like people have been doing for years but you're actually deflecting and conspiring with the crime there, we need to figure out why 70 something reports. Ma'am, ma'am, this is internal affairs. I think your responsibility is to figure out why 70 something reports are not getting investigated and why multiple parties are covering for crimes that happened to me and why they were waiting at AT&T to enforce that I didn't speak with AT&T, the police. That's a crime if they're breaking into my phone, simulating calls and using that same technique for uh, to rip people off and identity theft schemes. Who's breaking into your phone? I, I think it has something to do with why, why police were waiting at AT&T to prevent me oh, because oh, what's going on, highly oh, evolved I'm identity not. thieves. Uh, ma'am, you asked ma'am. the question and you're covering for it I'm again, trying, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm trying to repeat what you said so that I can make sure I understand what you're telling me. It has something to do with why police were waiting at AT&T. Highly evolved identity th- thieves can break into a network and simulate calls. Oh, okay. Right. So I think that that same uh, pattern for identity thieves is being used to simulate calls. And that's why I call all over the United States, even the National Domestic Violence Hotline, and they cover for crimes and sabotage education and resources. You can get away with it and just claim that person's mentally ill because, like I said, people don't know that this exists. That's why identity theft is such a such a huge scale. But if you investigate the 70-something reports, you see a pattern. So once again, why are you guys denying me the right to investigate 70-something reports? Ranging from guns being pulled on me, pickpocketed, trapped on trains, ran off the road, identity theft, down to stealing food stamps in a crisis, food stamps and child support payments. And child support payments. Right. Who's doing that, ma'am? Ma'am, I want to focus on, stop. we've been deflecting for a while, I would like solutions. Why are the police denying me investigation for 70-something reports, and why are you condoning that and sabotaging that investigation for that? That's a felony. not condoning anything. Okay, well, we need to get to the bottom of why Internal Affairs forced me to leave when I tried to explain to them I was targeted. I also tried to report to Dangerfield and Longview that my card was, uh, my uh, SMI1 card was being controlled with child support payments. And Dangerfield detained me, and Longview wouldn't take the report. In addition, no, ma'am, you need to know. So I went to Longview to the child support. I went, ma'am, you're tampering with evidence. Let me finish and not interrupt evidence. So I went to Longview and reported to the attorney general. It was not hard, it was not easy for me to get there. I reported to them because my someone eventually disabled my card in this crisis where I couldn't use it, period. There is evidence that I went down there because someone was controlling my card and disabled it. If this man is oh, so wow. sick and enlisting the government for his financial abuse, keeping me from my own funds in crises, yeah, why would the police department cover address? for that? Ma'am, do you have our email address? Yes, yeah, so are you finally going to give me my records? Ma'am, I'm not, I don't work in open records. I can't give you any records. Well, what do you need that my email address for, ma'am? I don't understand I how I'm going to get a resolution if every party ma'am. I talk to ma'am. covers for crimes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. That wasn't my question. I didn't ask you for your email address. I asked you, do you have our email address? Okay, and what is that going to do if every party I um, talk to consistently gets away with committing felonies and all kinds of our, unbelievable crimes? If you don't have our email 
email address. I'm going to provide you with it because that's the process to, of filing a complaint here. Well, I don't, uh, so you're unwilling to tell me why you guys want to investigate 70 something reports ranging from, like I said, guns being pulled on me, being ran off the road, assaults, trapped on I trains. I can't answer that because I have no information and no knowledge about that. You so do. I'm that's a blatant lie that. tamper with evidence is a felony because I'm giving you that information now. You pretending like you don't have education on that is not going to um, free you from consequences if this was ever investigated. You do have knowledge of it. I'm giving it the, you the knowledge right now. Tamper with evidence is a felony. These are federal crimes. I would like to know why 70-something reports are not being investigated that is criminal. Targeting an, in the, targeting an individual out of corruption is a crime. Those are federal crimes. I have assaults from multiple different police departments. Ma'am, we don't take complaints over the phone, but I guess you can come here to police headquarters and write your statement. I already did. No. I already did, and they keep covering for crimes, ma'am. I would need to get some, you know, it, it's this is just a reoccurring situation. I've already done that for years, and they keep okay. covering for all the crimes and threatening to arrest okay. me to cover for the crimes. Ma'am. Your behavior, like I said, is inappropriate. For a party that has experienced all that, you should be a little bit more considerate. Ma'am, because you don't want to file a complaint right now. I've already filed multiple complaints. I don't understand where this is going. If multiple parties I contact on my phone, including attorneys that I'm trying to pay cover for crimes that happen to me. Okay. I think the proper the proper solution is for these the government to get consequences for the chaos that they're committing. These wow. are federal crimes or they're getting ignored. Yeah. You don't get so corrupt to where you deny someone the right to appear at their own court date. But they did. That's a constitutional right every citizen has. And when you deprive a citizen of that right, I believe that we're all uh, in store for um, some situations that, you know, could be a down downfall of the government. When you just deny someone their constitutional right to go to court because you can't explain the abuse that, that they have experienced. I've never heard. Have you ever heard of a citizen that was denied their right to go to court, appear at their own court date at multiple different courts? If the government is that bold to commit these heinous crimes and deny someone that, that constitutional right because they can't explain their abuse and participation in these um, these crimes, that they just say, forget it. She can't appear there. We know she's going to talk, which I absolutely was. I couldn't wait to talk. That's why I was not allowed to appear at my own court date. Ma'am, this is not going anywhere because each party I call on my phone, and like I said, including the attorneys, I try to pay or cover for all the crimes that happened to me. I just hope that I have gained enough evidence so people can get the consequences they deserve for these federal crimes that our people are allowed to consistently keep getting away with, harassing and terrorizing someone in jail, in the hospital, and everywhere they go, out of corruption, and all kinds of things that I could not talk, can't talk about because people wouldn't believe. But I get it now. That is a form of the smear campaign. No one would believe that we're doing this. So we're going to harass you and terrorize you in the store. And then we're going to pretend like that's your mental illness because no one's going to believe that we're really doing this. No one's going to believe, even though it's on camera footage, that when you're crossing the street, cars speed up. So we get to do this and you're completely ignorant and don't know we're purposely doing it. We're setting you up. We are absolutely guarding these doors and purposely having people terrorize you. So when you report it, you sound mentally ill. We have told these doors in advance. We're to, using your GPS to monitor where you're going. And we have these doors. Uh, our party's gang stalker come in and violate you. No one will ever believe it. Because <laughs> if, if anyone ever does, we're never going to investigate 70-something reports that prove it. But I think a red flag is the, um, giving me fraud and you guys not your inability to come up with these records, which is criminal. So we just need to be, I just need to be able to make authentic phone calls to report you guys successfully in the multiple different police departments that engaged in, um, and were involved in this abuse. I don't think that I'm really calling these attorneys. I think that my calls are being simulated. I, this is a great lawsuit, a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Why would attorneys turn it down? Why would they lie about my rights to my the interference with child custody crimes? 
Yes, ma'am, because I don't understand why the National Domestic Violence Hotline would deny me resources and play games. Why are we talking about the domestic violence hotline now, ma'am? I think we're deflecting because I believe this stalker that the police department keeps covering for. I'm answering you, ma'am. I'm answering for you. I'm pressed for time because multiple parties just extend the conversation, tamper with evidence, committing crimes, covering for my experiences. Well, let me answer you. Let me answer you, ma'am. I'm the word deflecting. So this stalker that I keep reporting that the police department keeps covering for, I think is behind all this. And I think the calls are simulated because... You may email us at or you may come to Beckham's Police Headquarters located at 1400 Fulton John Boulevard, Dallas, Texas, 75215. Okay, are you able to investigate why my provider denies me technical support, you all of them? Investigate anything unless you get I, I just want questions in you for you not to tamper with evidence to commit crimes. I have a question. I have a question, ma'am, and you're deflecting and keeping me from questions, especially when it comes to my phone, like they do in person. Are you able to investigate, ma'am? Please let me finish. Are you invest- able to investigate why my providers deny me technical support and why, what no. connection does? Why not? Ma'am, we absolutely cannot. Well, if it's incredible that someone is simulating calls, no one would believe that. And I have evidence that this was possibly being committed because the police were there waiting at AT and T. Ma'am, are you covering for the crimes? The police were there waiting at AT and T. See, it's difficult. I can't get anything resolved because every party I call is covering for crimes. I don't believe people are this corrupt. I think that my calls are being controlled, and you guys are criminals. And you are your assignment is to keep me from any uh getting any help to get out this abuse. Now, once again, I don't understand why my providers would do the tamper with evidence. I don't understand why my providers would prevent me from uh, any um, technical support and any education on how to protect myself on this fraudulent network and what my calls me assimilated. Right. Why they won't enforce will make me paying the telephone bill that I'm making my authentic calls and why they cover for it. All of them. Why my phone was shut off in emergencies in critical times, my data and tags and why they would not do anything in this crisis. If I'm going through this crisis routinely getting threatened and set up and assaulted and all this chaos, I needed my phone, even though emergency and police would play games and cover for it. I still needed my phone in this chaos with cars speeding up when I was crossing the street on camera footage, getting put out of the family uh, at the family place when it was on camera footage in the scheme. Why would they not follow protocol and call the police? They they claim the police claim that they call them. I don't think that the family place called the police. I think the police were controlling the family place and put me out when the car sped up like it was going to hit me on their camera footage. It also happened at QT on camera footage. I called the police and both both tried to contact the police and were reported to the police on both incidences. If all of this chaos is on camera footage, why are you guys emphasizing a mental illness to cover for it? Ma'am, why do you keep referring to mental illness? Ma'am, out of all the chaos I said, I think that this is a pattern. We're wasting time. I want you guys to get the charges that you deserve for interference with child custody, covering for assaults, me getting trapped on trains, being a part of harassment and abuse schemes, financial abuse. These are criminal offenses that you guys are committing. Tamper with evidence right. is a felony, depriving a citizen from law enforcement, breaking into their phone to, and uh, controlling their calls to make sure that anyone that ever would help them, they never get it. Stalking me right. at right. churches, dragging me out of them, throwing them, throwing me on the concrete. It's sick. And you guys, it's long. Your consequences are long overdue. You need the consequences you deserve. It's sick. And I'm ready for you to get your charges. Bye, man. We're not getting anywhere. I want for someone to intervene in this chaos. Bye. Goodbye, ma'am.